principal, the founder of Kamal International, Mr. Zaruk, staff, parents, publishers, and of course, most importantly, the students of Kamal International. First of all, thank you very much for having me today at this wonderful occasion of your sports meet, especially since my background in cricket. I was very happy to accept the invitation of Mr. Ikram of Emerald to be here and having associated him for a few years now. Any request from him, I have known, is always a very gracious one and always with a purpose. The purpose today, by what I can gather, is to come and see and be a witness to the next generation of young men who very soon will be taking over the mantle of responsibility of guiding this wonderful country of ours into the future. School is a very important part of our life. The time, the years we spend in school is of course most important formative years of our life. Apart from the influence of parents and family, what you learn at school, the teachers who teach you, the friends that you make, and the lessons that you learn will be the foundation of your life. So you must pay very special attention to those years. And school is not one-sided. It is not only about academics, and it is not only about sport. It is not always about fun, but it is a period where you are allowed to inquire explore and find out what it is that is important to you, who you are as a person, what are the steps that you need to take to become successful in life, and you learn great lessons that are not only contained in your textbooks, and as a result, the combination of studies and sports becomes very important. And it was the same when I was at school. What does sport teach you? From a very young age, at the school level, it teaches you about discipline. It teaches you about respecting yourself and equally importantly, respecting others. It teaches you to be calm and to take defeat or victory with equally calm emotions. It teaches you about teamwork. It teaches you about hard work, commitment and sacrifice. So when you look beyond the running, the jumping, the batting, the bowling, you see that the lessons that you actually learn will become so important in making you upstanding, strong charactered, morally sound young people who can then be proudly asked to be the pilots of Sri Lanka's future. Today, the world 
is a complicated place, especially for children of your age. Advances in technology, various issues in social in our social lives and in politics makes the responsibility that you carry on your young shoulders a great one. But don't look at it as a burden. This responsibility is thrust upon you because you are capable of carrying that burden and then using your life to create a better world, not just for yourselves, but for those who come after you. Our time, like the time of maybe the faculty and your teachers, is soon coming to an end. But your time is yet to come. Our country needs understanding. While you respect and protect not just what is yours, but what is others, you must also strive to have a better understanding of who you are and who others are. Don't be afraid, don't be exclusive, be inclusive, be open-minded and be ready to accept the good and the bad that comes with having great love and acceptance in your heart. It is not going to be an easy journey, but it is a journey that you must take. I believe by what I have seen today that you are in excellent hands and the future of Sri Lanka is bright, but please make note, work hard, have a dream, and more importantly, have a plan. All the best, and God bless you.